ที่เป็นเสียงเพลงที่ไพเราะมากนะครับ Now we are entering the word of God. I'm going to ask that we close our eyes and we pray. Let us pray, Almighty God, Father in heaven. Now we are opening your word. May you be with us, so each and every one of us can learn, and then it can change our lives and prepare us for your second coming. We pray in Jesus' name, Amen. All right. I think you can see there the title. That is there so far is fear. ซึ่งเราถ้าเราบอกที่อ่าทางอ่าที่ฉายอ่าสไลด์นะครับเราก็เราจะเห็นคำคำว่าความกลัวเกิดขึ้นนะครับ Have you ever been afraid? เราเคยรู้สึกกลัวหรือเปล่าครับ Have you ever felt fear? เรารู้สึกว่ารู้สึกความวิตกไหมหรือว่าความกลัวไหม I would like us to take it to have a small experiment. ก็เราจะไปในการทดสอบเล็กๆด้วยกันนะครับ I'm going to ask everybody please close your eyes ให้เราทุกคนหลับตานะครับ Okay I want you to imagine that you are in Putifar right แล้วก็ให้เราคิดว่าเราอยู่บนภูชิฟ้านะครับ And as you are in Putifar there you wake up five o'clock you are very excited the sun is not yet up แล้วก็เราอยู่ที่ปุชมาเราตื่นตีห้าแล้วก็ที่จะไปขึ้นมา And last year when you went there was a fence that protected you from the ground แล้วก็เมื่อเดินไปเราจะเห็นว่าจะมีรั้วที่กั้นเราไม่ให้ตกไปข้างล่าง And you are very excited you are very excited and then you open your eyes แล้วเมื่อเราตื่นเต้นมากก็เราเปิดตาขึ้นมา You realize you are the first one you are the one at the cliff แล้วก็เราเห็นว่าเราเป็นคนแรกที่อยู่ตรงหน้าผาหลังคนเดียว And now there is no fence แล้วตอนนี้เนี่ยปรากฏว่าตรงหน้าผามันไม่มีรั้วกั้นอยู่ And when you look down you are going to fall just one more step you will fall แล้วเมื่อเรามองไปข้างล่างอีกหนึ่งก้าวก็จะตกไป And when you look back people are coming up because they want to see the sunrise เมื่อเรามองกลับมาข้างหลังก็เห็นว่ามีคนกำลังเปลี่ยนเสียงเข้ามาแล้วก็เดินเข้ามาใกล้มากขึ้นเรื่อยๆ Please open your eyes ถ้าเราเปิดตานะครับ How are you feeling now เรารู้สึกไงครับ The people are coming they don't know they don't know that is the edge they don't know there is a fence ในขณะที่คนข้างหลังกำลังตามมาเขาไม่รู้ว่าข้างหน้าเนี่ยมันได้มีหรือว่าแล้วแล้วก็มันเนี่ยเกือบถึงปลายทางแล้ว You can't go forward, but you can't go backwards. นั่นแหละกันเราก็อยู่ตรงไอ้ขอบเส้นที่ว่าไม่สามารถไปข้างหน้าหรือว่ากลับมาข้างหลังได้ I'm going to ask you now, what are you afraid of? เราตอนนี้จะถามว่ากลัวอะไร Are you afraid of retirement? เรากลัวในการที่เอ่อจะเอ่อเสียอายุหรือเปล่าครับ As we know, we cannot work here forever. เรารู้ว่าเราไม่ได้ทำงานตลอดไป Are you afraid of the finances? Are you afraid for us who are single? Are you afraid that you know we will always be old maids who are not married? Are you afraid of your health? Are you afraid of work? The message today is be strong and be courageous. You remember the situation that we had when we were on Putifar Day? It says that as the Israelites, they had left the Egypt, they had left the Egyptians behind. And they had the Red Sea in front of them. And they had the Egyptians behind them. When they looked, there was no way, there was nothing that they could do. Even if they could swim, they could not swim across the Red Sea. And if you read in Exodus 14 verse 10, 
Come see. It says the Israelites were afraid. Can you imagine these two million people? They are afraid because the Egyptians are armed. They are coming. They can do anything to them. In, in front of them is the Red Sea that is full of sharks, it's full of wells, it's full of anything, other animals that you can think of. But what does the word of God say to them? It says, fear not, see the salvation of the Lord. It goes on to say in verse 14, the Lord, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. The same message is being given to us today. We should not be afraid the Lord will fight for us. If we go on ahead there, you can see that the Israelites, I'll give you a summary. The Israelites crossed the, the Red Sea, right? It's a big miracle. They complain and they complain and they complain. They complain about the leadership. They complain about the food. They complain because there is no meat. And they complain because they are afraid they will die in the wilderness. All I see here is complaints and complaints and complaints and complaints. They complain because of lack of water. And this is the reason Moses could not enter Kenai because they complained of lack of water. Moses got so angry. And who is the leader at that time? It is Moses. But then, beside Moses, the one who is observing all this is actually Joshua. So where do we first see Joshua? If you read in Exodus 17, we see Joshua is a military commander. And remember that time when he went to get the Ten Commandments, he was down there waiting for Moses. And Numbers, we see that Joshua is one of the spies, the 12 spies that are sent by Moses to, uh, to spy on Canaan. Already we can see the character of Joshua. I would like us to dwell a little bit, a little bit of the two spies. You know what? When the men came, they were told. I'm giving you the Bible story. When the men came, the twelve of them, they said they were carrying grapes. You know, the grapes were so big. Remember, God had promised them, I will give you a land filled with milk and honey. 
จะเป็นแผ่นดินที่จะเป็นด้วยสารพัดแรงน้ำลม So they are carrying these grapes. They are carrying these fruits. They are carrying the richness of Canaan. ซึ่งการที่เขากลับมาแล้วผลไม้คือการที่เขาได้เอาความสมบูรณ์ของประเทศคาราอันมาให้กุศลเอลได้ดู If you read the story, you will get through it because it says the other ten spies said, "You know what? They were addressing the people, the Israelites. You know what? The Canaanites. They are so big." ซึ่งในมุมมองของสิบคนนะครับที่เป็นสายสอดแนมที่ส่งไปเขาบอกกับคนในสเตียบอกว่า We look like grasshoppers they are that big they are giants บอกว่าคนคณะเนี่ยเป็นคนที่ลุกล่างเป็นยักษ์เป็นตัวที่ใหญ่สูงเขาเนี่ยเป็นเหมือนกับมดตัวหนึ่งเท่านั้นในสายตาเขา And if you read the story the men made convinced to the Israelites so much that the Israelites were ready to turn back and go back to Egypt ซึ่งทั้งสิบคนนี้เป็นการพูดเชิงจับจุงบอกว่าเขาเนี่ยไม่สามารถเข้าไปได้แล้วควรที่จะไปในประเทศอียิปต์ In fact, it says they were ready. They were actually nominating somebody else to take over from Moses and Aaron. They said these leaders are not good enough. We want new leadership. ซึ่งเป็นการติเตียนโมเสสทางอ้อมบอกว่าโมเสสเป็นผู้นำที่แย่แล้วก็พาเขามาถึงในจุดที่ว่าเป็นจุดอักที่ไม่สามารถที่จะออกทางได้ And Moses falls down and pleads for the people. และขณะเดียวกันโมเสสได้ล้มลงเข่าลงเพื่อขอให้คนเสียวส่งอภัยให้ Anyway, let's fast forward. We go now to our main character today, who is Joshua. ซึ่งเราไปเดินไปข้างหน้าเราจะบอกว่าชัวร์คือใคร So now Joshua has seen all that the Israelites were doing. ซึ่งชัวร์เป็นคนที่จะสังเกตมองเห็นว่าสิ่งต่างๆที่เกิดขึ้นในชุมชนของคนเสียวเกิดอะไรขึ้นบ้าง And suddenly Moses dies. และหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยโมเสสได้จากไปแล้วก็เสียชีวิตไป And the Lord said if you read in Joshua 1 verse 1 to 2 Moses my servant is dead now then you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them to the Israelites ในยุควัยประเทศเปลี่ยนข้อที่สองนี้บอกว่าหลังจากที่เราเสียได้เสียชีวิตแล้วพระเจ้าจัดกับยุคบอกว่าเจ้าและคนของเจ้าเตรียมตัวให้พร้อมในการที่จะข้ามแม่น้ำจุดแดนเพื่อไปถึงแผ่นดินที่ทรงสัญญาไว้ Joshua is being given a leadership role ซึ่งยุควัยได้ถูกแต่งตั้งมาจากพระเจ้า In other words, he's taking over from Moses ก็คือการที่รับช่วงต่อจากช่องของโมเสสไป Remember, these are the same people who would grumble and grumble and complain and complain, but he is being told to take over. So เป็นเหตุการณ์ที่ว่ายุชวันได้เห็นเหตุการณ์ต่างๆในสังคมเพิ่งเสร็จแล้วได้เห็นว่าเขาบ่นมากแค่ไหนแต่ว่าตอนนี้คือรับช่วงต่อ If we go down to verse five, ในข้อที่ห้านะครับ It says. The Lord is speaking to Joshua and is saying the same message to us. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. So in verse five, he says that there will not be a man who can stand before God. Or even in the time of his life. As I was with Moses. You the process. So I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. The same message is being given to us today. Where we are, I would like us to read it together, so that we can really feel, we can really feel God's words to us. I'm going to say one, two, three. We start reading. Okay, one, two, three. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. I will never leave you nor forsake you. My presence will go before you in every challenge, every battle, in every season of your life. 
Be confident and trust in my unfailing guidance, for I am with you always. Since we don't need to worry, because God is with us. So, when the thing that we are doing, we know that we are not going to be able to do it with us. Just as he was with Moses, God is with you. Do not be afraid. It says here there is a promise. Only be strong and be courageous. Be careful. Now listen to this part. Be careful to do according. There is something there. According to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. So that you may have, listen to this word, you may have success wherever you go. In other words, on the next slide there, do not neglect God's word. The commandments that were given to Moses were a divine guide that pointed the Israelites and me and you to a life of obedience, justice, and relationship with God. I have a question for you. Do you want to be successful in your life? Do you want to be successful? Okay, now there is a secret. If we want to be successful, we have to make God's word a priority. We have to trust God's promises. We have to be obedient. And that word is our Bible. It is our compass. It will tell us what to do at all times. It says we should never, on the next slide, we should never stop meditating on these words. You must think about them day and night. Only then, only then are you going to prosper and succeed. Remember our question, do we want to prosper? Do we want to be successful? The answer is simple, we follow God's word. Our verse, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid. It even says, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Wherever. It does not say some places, but wherever you go, God is with you. I wonder. Is there anyone? Is it me who is discouraged? Uh, 
When challenges come, they can surprise us. Just like when the flood came, it was so unpredicted and it just ruined the lives of a lot of people. Many people lost properties. Are you discouraged? The word of the Lord is coming this morning and say, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and be courageous for I am with you wherever you go. Now, if we look here, now, God gives Joshua a command. And it is go to Jericho. Now, this gets so interesting. Now, this is a, Jericho has these walls, you know, they are protected. And they are not small walls that can just fall, they are strong walls. So, when compared to the and you know what? It says here it was tightly shut. When you close something tightly, it's so tightly shut. No one can go in, no one can come out. So it when compared And God, God gives a command. He says, you know what? You are going to take over Jericho, but you have to march around, march around, march around. I want us to picture on the next slide that you know what? Joshua, Joshua has got his generals. You know the army generals. So in your chamber, who went with the backup of the top of Israel? Learned men who will come with ideas. You know what? For us to take over Jericho, we must do this. We must attack them from the north, and the other one will say, No, no, no. We must skirmish from this side. The other general will say, Let's do this. So in your night. Can we imagine the general surprise when Joshua is saying, No, 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 don't worry. All we have to do is march around. March around in silence. We are not supposed to say anything. Just march around. Can you imagine their shock? I think they are discussing amongst themselves. We do have generals in our lives. Our sister, you are not yet married. It's been this long. You know what we think? We think you can do this. We think you can do that. They plot our generals, our friends plot for us. They give us ideas of what we can do, what we can do. But the Lord said to Joshua on the next slide, I have delivered Jericho into your hands along with its king and its mighty men. Uh, 
Are you going through whatever you are going through? I don't know what you are going through. But the good news is that the Lord knows what you are going through. It is bringing a message for you and me. Have I not commanded you? Be strong, be courageous, for I will not leave you alone. Let's go with our scripture, Joshua, we are on Joshua 6 verse 9. It says that they are marching and they are marching and they are marching and they are marching around these walls. And can you imagine what the people were thinking as they were marching? We are just marching here. We are just white marching. The soldiers and the priests. And he said, close your mouth because people were going to start mumbling. What are we doing? Why are we marching? But the Lord's command was, don't say anything. And the climax of our story comes in Joshua 6 verse 16. This is on the seventh day. The Lord says, Shout! For the Lord has given you the city. And you know what the people did? They shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. What is your war today? Is it money? Is it your marriage? Is it the fact that you are single? Is it your health? Is it your family? Is it your work? Is it your children? Is it that why that God has blessed you with? Or is that husband that the Lord has blessed you with? What are you afraid of? Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. For where I am with you, wherever you go, wherever, wherever, whatever situation you are in, the Lord is with you. I have a question again. I said it earlier. Do you want to be successful? The secret now is complete obedience to God. You want everything to go well for you? Complete as in complete obedience to God. God. And we have to believe that God is with us in every experience. When we obey His word, He gives us courage and strength to face anything that is before us. I have to remind you 
the walls can come come tumbling down. Your walls will come tumbling down. It's times we don't understand. We don't understand even what we are going through. We don't understand God's instruction, which is simple. Follow me, follow me, believe, believe. We do not understand it. Let's follow the Israelites' example and take one day at a time as we follow God. At times we will not see God's plan until we have completely completely not passion but completely obeyed the word of God and you know what God has promised that he will bring you to the land of Canaan what has God promised us? God has promised us good health. God has promised us that we will stay young for many years. God has promised us prosperity. In fact, God has actually promised us that we will live many years on this earth. Did you know that? Do you know where the Bible verse is? You shall not be the head. You shall be the head, not the tail. The Lord has promised to prosper us. But you might say, how do you know this? It says in Jeremiah 30 verse 17, For I will restore health to you. Amen. And heal you of all Oh, your wounds, says the Lord. There is the promise of good health. But if you don't open your Bible, you will not know the promises there. Do you want to have money? Do you want not to be in credit? It says, bring the whole time into the storehouse. Test me, says the Lord. See that I will not pour blessings that your cup will overflow. As long as you are opening this book, and obeying the word of God claim that promise you might say what the Lord wants to prosper us how do I know the Lord wants to prosper us in this book, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you. If you open this book, you will see that promise. And it says here, yeah, there's something else about long years on this earth. I would like all children, and some of us are still children. It says, honor your father 
and your mother. That your days, your days may be long. If you want to live long, if you want to grow old, you have to listen to your mommy and your daddy. And if you do that, God will bless you with many, many years on this earth. You will be a grandmother. Or a grandfather. Again, the message is so simple. Be strong. Be courageous. You are not alone. Don't live in sin though. And think God will bless you. Don't be actually doing something that you know is wrong, that God doesn't like, and think that God will bless you. As long as you are pure, you've got nothing, nothing, no sin on you, no known sin in your life, the Lord will bless you. He has promised, be strong and courageous. I am with you always. I, I like that slide because it's got a lion. It doesn't have a mouse that can run away. So, a mouse, a tormented. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> A mouse will run away, but a lion will not run away. Even if it sees an elephant that is, I don't know how many times bigger than it is, it will not run away. Today, may we all be lions. May we all be lionesses. Be strong. Be courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. For the Lord your God. We will be with you wherever you go. May God bless us this Sabbath day. Amen.